Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door! So, we are on the last battle of the Minor League in the Glitz Pit, so it's time to start. Reserve a match. Well, dog my cats, if it ain't the Great Gonzales fixin' for a fight, huh? Yuck, 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 yuck! Hooey, you're gonna love this! Your next opponent is... Ranked 10th in the Glitz Pit, the Armored Harriers! That's right, you're darn tootin'! You're finally gonna have a go at the Major League, son! We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go letting us down now! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs something flashy, you catch my drift? Give them a good show! Now get in there and blow the roof off, son! Oh boy! Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. It's time for the battle that will determine if we move on to the Major League or not. And now, today's main event! The Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzalez! But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Ironed Adonis Twins! First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks! The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez! Kick their iron tails! Don't you dare lose, dude! Love that mustache! Holy! The Great Gonzalez! How are you feeling? Burp! Oh, wow, Nelly! You heard the fella, folks? He's obviously itching to mix it up some! Good gravy! Iron him out! Whoa, are the spikes legal? I love the way those guys- the sound those guys make when they walk. <laughs> yuck, yuck! Your challenger is real confident, boys! Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said? More like paper dog face bros, and they stink! And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah, and then he said, Howdy belly buttons runs in their family, stink wads! And so on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I did not. What? How does he know my mom has an Audi? That jerk. <laughs> we're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink ya. Oh, and one more thing. Only Steam Ellie Stinkwads call other people Stinkwads. Understand, Stinkwad? Simmer down there, bro. You, Stinkwad, you're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? A solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to BATTLE! Oh yeah. Use a special move at least once. We're gonna do it! We make the Major League if we win! Get psyched, Mario! <laughs> Give it up now! Well, Stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. Well, we got a tattle. Iron Cleft. That's an Iron Cleft! That guy is scary! Period! Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against Iron Clefts. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an Iron Cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away might not be a bad idea at this point. Uh, you forget we've... We've got armor, Earth Tremor, Pierce's defense. Oh well, that should be good enough to whittle him down, or not. Not what I expected. Hey, how dare you? Get out of here, X-Not. Well, I've got Piercing Blow, so... It's Piercing Blow! Oh, uh, that's not good. I've got Zap Tap. Okay, and they don't get electrocuted. And damage dodge doesn't work on them. Alright, doofus. Yep, we can't do anything. We gotta run away. Woo! 
we got ourselves a winner, the Armored Harriers! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. And we got one coin. Mario's ranking remains at 11. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, check it out! Our little eggy friend is gone! What a bummer! Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo! <gasps> it's green! Gonzalez! Check me out! Thanks to you, I had safe and sound! Thanks, man! What? You were in that cute little eggy waggy? Whoa, that's wild! Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah! Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Alright, couple things I need to point out there. So... The Yoshi can be different colors, so I got really lucky and got green. That's like the rarest color there is. Basically, the way it works is that there's a timer, and like, uh, basically the amount of time that passes between you get the egg, like following you around and the time it hatches, that determines what color uh, the Yoshi is. So I actually, I put it on my phone, I got the time, so... Uh, from 0 to 6 minutes, if that's the amount of time that passes between then, it'll be green. If it's 6 to 9 minutes, it'll be red. 9 to 11 min minutes, it'll be blue. 11 to 15 minutes, it'll be orange. 15 to 18 minutes, it'll be pink. 18 to 19 minutes, it'll be black. And 19 to 20 minutes, it'll be white. And then after 20 minutes, the counter resets. So 20 minutes to 26 minutes will be green, and then so on and so on. So I actually got lucky. It must have been like uh, 20 to 26 minutes that I had the egg before it became green. Sweet! I was really hoping for green, red, or blue, and that was awesome. I usually always get pink, which is annoying. All right. So I thought about this, and I've decided... Uh, basically, I'm going to name the Yoshi after one of my classmates. Basically, the girl I sat next to in Calculus Free, she wore Yoshi socks. I thought that was really cool. So I'll name it after her. Her name is Sydney, but the Yoshi's a guy, so I'll name the Yoshi Sid. <laughs> Not to be confused with Toy Story Sid. Hmm, Sid, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Sid. Yoshi's abilities, a primer. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. He's little, though. Can he support my weight? While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly while in the air. So he's like the paracarry of the game, but way better. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or you can use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Nice. Yeah, so I really like the Yoshi as a partner. He basically takes the best parts of Wacka Lester, Paracarry, and Bo and put them all into one. So he gets you the, the, like, hover ability like Paracarry has. He's fast like Wacka Lester. And he's kind of got the moves of Bo, where he, like, repeatedly deals one damage to people. He's really good. Way better than Flurry and Coops. Alright, we better... Well, I need to switch to Goombella because she lost HP last round. We're gonna take a little snooze. All right, Sid, let's do this. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. You're looking spiffy. Your next opponent's gonna be the Armored Harriers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need no trinkets to help them hand out a proper whooping, you hear? Now get in there and knock some heads the old-fashioned way, will ya? You know it. Oh, hey, Sir Swoop. What's up? Those hot dogs at sight are amazing! If you have trouble winning, definitely try one! It's basically like a mushroom and a honey syrup put together. 
Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Alright, let's try this for realsies this time. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Iron Adonis Twins. Yes, a fight to the finish with the Armored Harriers. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra hip hit bods just can't lose. Ultra hard. Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't use items. Gonzalez, let me at him. We're going to take these punks this time. <laughs> Stinkwad's challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimp partner. As if that's going to help him. Well, you never know. Let's wave to the audience, Mario. Build up that star power. So now we're going to use Yoshi's ability, Gulp. Hold R and release it when it reaches the light. Ouch! You spiked me right in the... That really hurt! Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us! No fair! Oh, dang, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? You know it. Yeah, that's literally the only thing in the entire game that can damage these guys, is Yoshi's gulp move. Press A right as the first guy hits the second one to get a stylish point as well. And we actually got star points for them! Sweet! Ugh. Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez! With this win, you made the major league! Now that, folks, was what I was call a wild and woolly fight! A diggity dang doozy! Keep it up, kid! You're going places, I can tell! Holy! Come on now, folks, give it up! We got a new major leaguer! Let's hear it for him! Yeah! <laughs> I love Grubba's charisma and how he's riling up the crowd. <laughs> it's great. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received seven coins. Mario's ranking rose to ten. And Mr. Gonzalez, uh, Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Nice. Hey, Grubba. Mr. Grubba, I've brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. M -m miss Choline! You mind your manners now! We knock round here, Missy! I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now, what did I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah! Gonzalez, you old so and so! Let me congratulate you, son! Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuckuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little uh, something something for you. Go on, take it. You got 30 coins. That's really nice of him. Oh, yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. That's less nice. No big deal, son. But hey, someday if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink. Maybe with some frills or something. You'll look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, pard. Take a powder, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. Damn, that's very nice of Grubba for giving me that bonus. Thank you, man. Whew. <sighs> This is the Major League Locker Room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the Minor League, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. Man, everyone looks tough in here. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh! Oh, yeah! Studly guy coming through! Listen up, losers! I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league! It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, Skinny! A mustache named Gonzalez! You're the guy who destroyed all my fans earlier! That was really lame, man! 
Man, I came all the way over here for you? Ha ha ha! What a waste of time! Oh? What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's belt! What in the- Hey, you! Get too close with the hawk and you might get rocked! I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake! Hey, you think you could just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so! You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no belt having wimps! Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Well, sorry, yellow dude. Didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk! You're all alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart! Remember the rock! How can you forget the rock? He's awesome. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him! We got a problem! Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get email from? What's with the ominous ring? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out, though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. And now we get the mysterious Glitz Pit music. Oh boy. Yep, these guys are back. That's the Shell Shock. He seems to be totally on top of his game. For some reason, though, I think he's just a big softy. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Occupied. I want to go in the bathroom. There's a man eating toilet in there, right? Hey, where'd you get the hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. That's Hamma Jamma. He must be one of the strongest major leaguers. He's got a hammer like you do. I think that hammer is really important to him. <laughs> Apparently. I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Uh-huh, that's right, just like the big legendary champion Prince Smush. That guy's Spiky Joe. He's a major leaguer, so we'll see him in the rain. He's super proud of his hard shell and this pointy spike on top of it. Whatever. Hey, dude. Destroy the foe before you. That is the only concern of a true warrior. That's the Koopanator. He definitely looks tough. When we fight against him, it'll be a good idea to have a strategy from the get-go. That is true. Unfortunately, this bed still does not he uh, replenish your star meter. Only the champ's room room does that. The champ's room room. Alrighty. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Well, righty, your next opponent will be ranked nine in the Glitz Pit. That's Tiny Spinies. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once, son. Well, gee, that's gonna be, like, impossible, then. <laughs> I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to beat a fellow with. Now get in there and let's get, see some acrobatifying. Um, okay, I'm going to either need to use the Yoshi or I'm going to need to use Earth Tremor. Because I can't use Quake Hammer. Yep, we're fighting these guys already. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Forney Demons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Whee, it's gonna be fun poking fun at you. Get yourselves ready to battle! What I want to know is how come the Iron Adonis twins never beat these two? Don't use your hammer. All right. Well, we might as well wave to the crowd then, because we can't jump on their heads. Tattle on the RS Buzzy. RS Buzzy, yes. That's a red spike top. It's the most well protected of the Buzzy Beetle species. Max HP is 5, attack is free, and defense is a whopping 5. Yep, this guy is hard. He has a really high defense, and fire and explosions don't hurt it at all. If we can just find a way to flip it over, its underside has defense of 0. And that spike, what a pain! There's gotta be a way to flip it over. Well, we could use Quake Hammer, but. Then Grubble will be okay. I told you not to use the hammer, Great Gonzalez. Eh, Sid will have to gulp him twice, so let's try Earth Tremor. If I'm good, I can kill them in a single go. If not, we gotta get out, you ah, uh, Sid. Nice! 
Yes! Woohoo! I just want to say, if that looks hard, it is a lot harder than it looks to pull off or tremor. We're getting star points again! Yay! We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! What did you expect, huh? We rock! Here's your fight money, Gonzalez. We get 11 coins, and we raise to rank 9. Nice. Oh, we can do another one. Sure. Whoa, well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez! Alright, your next opponent will be ranked 8 in the Glitz Pit. The Poker Face is. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you not to attack for the first three turns, okay? Fans love it when their heroes make them sweat a bit. Am I right or am I right? Now get in there and bring home the bacon. Oh, I totally forgot about this round. Yeah. No, no, no. I want to sleep before the security guard comes. <laughs> I mean, it's okay if you sleep when the security guard comes. It's just rude. Are you guys working with the president? Yep, these guys are back. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Ultimate Weapons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Poker Faces. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. You're gonna be coleslaw, kid, and that ain't good. Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't attack for the first three turns. Okay. Well, we're missing star power, so... <laughs> oh, the oh, they're just gonna kill themselves, I just realized. <laughs> Hi, everybody! You all love me! You all love Gumbella, too, right? Yeah! <laughs> oh, Zaptap makes these guys a joke. I still get star points for them? Really? Wow, I never attacked once. <laughs> well, I got ourselves a winner of the Great Gonzalez! See? No biggie! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We received 12 coins, and Mario's ranking rose to 8. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be going. Whoa, Mario, that was another email, right? Don't just stand there, check it. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. It's from that X guy again. Great, the watering hole, huh? If you say so, X. Who is this mystery guy? That's the question, isn't it? I really love this music, though. Hey, look! I've got the poster! Nice! Hey, you have pineapple, dude. Yo, yo! Great Gonzalez! Two questions! How are you feeling today? And if you were a soda pop, what flavor would you be? Oh, now he's all about me. Yeah! Fastest rising star in the glitz pit. <laughs> I got money now, so I'll buy me a hot dog. Hello there, you customer! The aroma of yum is in the air is the specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one. Will you buy one? Yes. Thank you, customer. So that nets us the hot dog, Mr. Hoggle's meaty work of art, which fulfills 5 HP and 5 FP. If I don't eat it, then we can always benefit from it later on a side quest. Well, this is the watering hole, right? Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a fixed stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this, the letter it was talking about is this. We get a super hammer! Hey, it's me again, Toadette. It's so nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. It's way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Want to learn about it? 
Sure you do. Let's practice. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key to is to rotate a lot before releasing B. Hold down B and rotate the control stick. Yeah, do it! Ooh, excellent, Mario! You're so awesome! Wanna try it again? No, I got it. Okay, great! You mastered the super hammer! With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this! We've seen those around, haven't we? Oh, gee, I almost forgot! You can use the super hammer in battle, too! Try it! See you later, Mario! Good luck with your quest! I am so sorry, Flopsy. <laughs> so far, <laughs> so far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model. The Hammer Whack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that that hammer chooses its user. <laughs> they aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Mario, another email? Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room from X. The blockade in the minor league locker room? Huh? What's behind it, you think? Yeah, sorry, Flopsy. After doing Grubba's voice, the Bristol's voice, the Iron Adonis Twins voice, basically all the voices, I can't... I, like, my Toadette voice is even worse than usual. Okay, the whole the hammer chooses its user. That's a total Harry Potter reference. That's, that's great. Hey, dude, I have orders from an email to tell that telling me to break down the wall in here. Oh, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got the word that you wanted to move back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. Who told you that? Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad! What are you doing here? If you want to fight outside the ring, I'll give you a fight, you big jerk! <laughs> oh, sorry, dudes. That's the older of the Iron Adonis twins. You can tell he's the older by his red shoes. I don't think they took their loss to you too well, Mario. I'd be careful around them. That's the younger of the Iron Adonis twins. He and his brother totally hate you. Is it a rule that older brothers always wear red shoes and younger brothers always wear green? Yeah! The Goomba brothers were kind of like that, except the younger one was blue. That's Sir Swoop. He just got on board here. Now, hey, now he's new newbie! You definitely notice how quick the turnaround is when new people come in. It's true. We got this here. Oh, interesting. Sid! Away! We got a dubious paper. A letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff in it. Mario, do you believe what that is? It's a scientific report on the crystal stars. Someone was researching the crystal stars, and they even have pictures. You know, it's really weird that someone would just leave this lying around. Very strange indeed, and also that is one of the Seven Wonders. You again? Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this, thank you very much. What's that chick's beef? It was totally hard work getting that info! Well, whatever. At least it sounds like the Crystal Star is somewhere in here. Yeah, so now there's a lot less fighting and a lot more just intrigue going on. That's Bandy Andy. He's always wandering around investigating stuff. Who knows if it'll help us, but I'm sure he's got plenty of info to share. Yeah, I've already heard it all. Later, Bandy Andy! Haboosh! Let's go at another. <laughs> well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez! Fix him for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 7 in the Gwets Pit, the Shell Shock! Uh, oh, 
no. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least three times. These fans eat that stuff up. A little grandstanding from their hero and they go nuts. Now get in there and get them riled up, son. So I'm not sure if that means Mario himself has to appeal three times at least, or if you and your partner combined have to appeal at least three times. I'm going to assume that it's Mario. Because I don't want to have to redo this fight. Gonzalez, every time I come in here to tell you it's your match, you're always asleep. It's so annoying. Oh, sorry! <laughs> I just get really tired! For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Turtles of Hurdle. Yep, a fight to the finish with Yurtle the Turtle. Oh, I mean the Shell Shockers. We aren't going to lose to Scrubs like you. So-called Great Gonzalez, don't think I'm going to take it easy on you, baby. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yep, these guys again. This is not good. I think I will clock them out. Nice. And we still need to tattle on the Shady Paratroopa. That's a Shady Paratroopa. It's a Shady Koopa with wings, obviously. Max HP is 8, attack is free, and defense is 1. Knock off its wings, and it's a Shady Koopa. Unlike typical Koopas and Paratroopas, its attack jumps when it attacks... Yeah, its attack jumps when it flips up off its back. This also says here it has a move that hits you and your ally at once. Is that possible? Uh, I guess the best thing to do is beat it quickly after we flip it. Yeah, that sounds good. Shoot, should have appealed as Mario. That's one appeal. That's two appeals. This is not good. Now he's gonna show off his back attack. No, no, no. No! Why do I get the bad bingo? Your HP, FP, and star power all fell by half. And now this guy gets to show off his really annoying attack. I defended against that with multiple damage dodges and it dealt that much damage. No joke. I don't care if I have to appeal another time. I'm getting rid of this guy. Last appeal. I think I better use an item. Mushroom on Mario. That is like one of the first times I've had to use an item. I think Piercing Ball will really come in handy here. Again, I really don't want to flip him. Take this, doofus. At least we get a good amount of star points for that. Woohoo! Six star points! We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! <laughs> How'd that fuller taste? Gonzalez! You two again. Whoa, Nelly! I don't believe my eyes, folks! The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage! You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it. Oh, I'm a little tired from your match, Great Stinkwad. Too bad. Prepare for pain. Yeah, they had to choose the hardest fight to come after when you're really beaten up. Let's sweet treat to get our HP back up. That was bad.
Well, great. The one whose HP we wanted to get up, we only got three for. Doesn't that stink? We're gonna make you look like idiots. Eat this. Literally eat this, Sid. Woohoo! Do 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 Look, we lost after all that. We reek. Holy! That's our great Gonzalez friends and neighbors. Kid, don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough! He's too dang tough! Yeah, this kid is only bound for bigger fiends, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya! What if that was a publicity stunt by a uh, grubba? <laughs> Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> He seems a little ethically unscrupulous. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. But he's just so dang charismatic. Gonzalez, another email? What now? Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking this isn't our ex, buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? I don't know, Rock Hawk, maybe? <laughs> or the Iron Adonis Twins. <laughs> They've gotta be really mad now that we beat them up twice. But anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time! We probably won't beat this area, but we'll at least continue and get farther, and probably get close to being the champion of the Glitz Pit. Hope to see you then, have a great day, and God bless!